Hello guys, today we're gonna talk about the next class tuning that is coming on the 9th of October or the next Wednesday, so let's get started. Death Knight, Blood, Sand Lane Vampiric Strike damage is getting increased by 30%. Sand Lane Infliction of Sorrow now deals 20% of the remaining disease damage to the enemy when it extends its duration was 15. Sand Lane Infliction of Sorrow now deals 130% of the remaining disease damage to the enemy when it consumes it. Was 100%. And Sand Lane Visceral Strength now grants 12 strength for 12 seconds, was 8 strength and 8 seconds. Sand Lane Transit Bot Test now increases the damage of Test Right by 6% per stack, was 5% strength per stack. Now this increases as well the Death Coil damage for blood, but doesn't matter. What is interesting here is this part. So they are buffing tank damage. Demon Hunters, they are finally getting some love because I really haven't seen any Demon Hunters in Solo Shuffle on higher ratings. So Aldraki Reaver Wounded Quarry damage increased by 100%, Warblades Hunger damage increased by 100% and Reaver's Grave damage increased by 15%. Vengeance, Mastery Fell Blood effectiveness increased by 20%, Shatter Souls healing per soul increased by to 7% of recent damage taken was 6 and soul barrier base absorb value increased by 50% and absorb value per soul increased by 100% so they are getting some survival so they are making vengeance more tanky and havoc is getting some nice damage buffs feral windstalker chance for bloodseeker vines to grow in a single target is unchanged but slightly increased when rip and rake are on multiple targets windstalker Burst and growth damage increased by 10%. I mean, ferals are in the top 3 in solo shuffle right now. 10% damage increase, fine. Restoration. All healing increased by 5% does not affect PvP combat. Scenario and ward healing increased by 40%. Okay, some tiny love for the rest of druids because they are right now the worst healers. Evoker augmentation, blistering skills getting a bit nerfed was 30%, now it's 20%. Devastation, Flame Shaper, Consume Flame Damage increased by 25%, and Goof Damage reduced by 20% in PvP Combat. Preservation, Flame Shaper, and Goof Healing increased by 20%, and Flame Shaper, Consume Flame Healing reduced by 50%. Okay, that's a pretty hefty nerf, 50%. Evokers are close to Holy Paladins right now regarding healing. Hunter Beast Mastery. So Basilisk Color Damage, Bonus Per Damage Over Time Effect reduced to 2 and 4% was 5 and 10%. Kill Command getting an 80% damage buff and Pet Damage overall increased by 4%. Survival Nerubar 2 set bonus is getting Wildfire Bomb Damage increased by 8% was 5 and the force set bonus increases raptor strike mungus bite damage by 20% on targets affected by world firebomb was 10. Mage hero talents frost fireball damage increased by 15% really holy sh <laughs> I mean frost mages or should I say frost fire mages are literally destroying and they're buffing frost fireball even further I mean I'm talking about pvp of course frost fire infusion damage increased by 50% and frost fire empowerment damage bonus increased by 60 was 50 and frost mastery now grants 2% mastery and was 1% god damn they are buffing mages even further monk master of harmony stored vitality causes an additional 40% healing and damage was 25% monks getting some love because they are pretty low as well with healing i mean healers really struggle 2.1k above mist weavers specifically um i mean brewmaster is getting some damage buffs Mistweaver. Coolescence now causes Aspect of Harmony to increase damage and healing taken by 30%. Aspect of Harmony now stores 30% of healing done was 20%. So nice buffs for Mistweaver and Windwalker. Celestial Conduit now scales its damage with Mastery Combo Strikes. Okay, that's as well some buff I suspect. Paladin Holy. All healing reduced. Does not affect PvP. Lightsmith. Awakening now causes Blessing of the Forge to spawn a secret weapon when extending the duration of an Avenging Wrath. 
Lightsmith, Hammer and Anvil's healing effect radius increased to 20 yards plus 5 yards, now this is nice. Lightsmith, Hammer and Anvil's healing increased by 150% and Lightsmith Divine Guidance effect increased by 50%. Pretty nice buffs to Holy Paladins, I mean they are literally the best healers on high ratings after this priest they are the second they are in the second place protection getting overall some damage increases and healing i'm not really gonna talk about tanks mostly about dps and healers retribution now Rat is getting some buffs as well. Shake the Heavens last 10 seconds was 8. Sanctification duration increased as well to 12 seconds was 10. Final Reckoning now increases the damage of Hammer of Light by 30% was 15%. Hammer of Light main target damage increased by 25%. Hammer of Light secondary target damage increased by 75%. Light's Deliverance now triggers 50 stacks was 60. Templar Undisputed Ruling Grants 50% haste for 8 seconds was 12 seconds haste for 6 seconds. Templar Wrathful Descent now deals 125% of the Empyrean Hammer damage to the nearby enemies was 100%. And Templar Empyrean Hammer now benefits from Penitence and Burnt Ash. Pretty nice buffs to Red Paladins. They are kind of struggling a bit as well. So, very nice. Priest Shadow. Oh my god. Are they seriously buffing Shadow Priests? And they are like one of the best DPS in Solo Shuffle right now. They, they are pretty much more Shadow Priests are above 2.1k than Unholy Death Knights. And we are literally getting destroyed nerfs and they are getting buffs. Well played Blizzard, well played. Mind Blast damage increased by 10%, Shadow Word Dead damage increased by 10%, Void Bolt damage increased by 10%, Shadow Vaporation damage increased by 10%, and Tropic Rift damage increased by 20%, Void Blast damage increased by 20%, Collapsing Void damage increased by 10 Void Flay by 10% increased, and Inner Quietus increases Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word being damaged by 25% was 20%. Oh my god. I think Shadow Priest is gonna be the top 3 right now. Gonna be the new meta, probably. Rogue Hero Talents. Dead Stalker full of the blood effect now requires 2 targets afflicted with Rupture plus 3 targets. Assassination, scatter poison damage deal to nearby targets reduced by 40% was 45%. Tier set bonus. They're increasing the chance to trigger Wild Tincture. They don't say how much, but it, it's getting increased. Wild Tincture poison damage buff now correctly affects Invenom, King's Bane, and appropriate hero talent effects. Force set bonus thrombotic tincture now correctly applies upon gaining 5 stacks of Wild Tincture by 6 seconds. Okay, though they expect the changes to result in a net increase in overall damage weighted heavily towards single target outlaw all ability damage increased by 4% dispatch damage increased by 6% precise cuts bonus to blade for a damage permissive target increased to 4% was 2% and sub black powder damage increased by 35% damage restoration Earth and Harmony now causes Earth Shield to reduce damage taken by 3% was 5% does not affect PvP combat. They are reducing the Acid Rain damage by 20%. I guess it was good for Mythic Plus probably, dealing some AoE damage and healing at the same time. Now Warlock Demonology. Pact of the Eridurin Doom Guards deal 20% increased damage. Grimoire Felguard now increases dam damage of the Summoned Felguard by 60% was 45. And Felguard damage increased by 10%. Gloomhound's Gloom Slash damage increased by 20%. So the Monology is getting some nice buffs, and I think they are getting buffed in PvP as well. Warriors, Hero Talents, Arturia Bleed causes Colossal Might to increase the damage dealt by Deep Wounds and rent by 3% per stack was 2%. Colossus No Stranger to Pain increases total damage ignored by Ignore Pain by 20% was 15%. Mountain Tain, Lightning Strikes damage increased by 25%, Ground Current damage increased by 25%, Torrent Smite causes Lightning Strike to generate 3 Rage was 5, so 2 Rage less, and Torrent Smite increases Revenge, Raging Blow and Execute damage by 25% was 15%, so another 10% buff. Slayer, Culling Cyclone bonus, Blade Storm damage reduced 
to 10% was 20, so another 10% damage buff. Slayer Opportunities now increases damage and critical strike damage of your next overpower or raging blow by 20% plus 30%. Here we have a tiny nerf by 10%. And Fury, the two set bonus, which does not, I mean this buff is not gonna affect PvP, but increases the damage of your next rampage by 15% plus 10. And the four set bonus as well, the damage of your next blood test increased by 20%, stacking up to two times was 10%, doesn't affect PvP combat. So for PvE, Fury is getting buffed. <laughs> and Mountain Thing, Crashing Thunder, causes a thunderclap to generate 8 rage now. What's 5? Strength of the Mountain increases blood test and rampage damage by 30%, was 20%, and protection on the Mountain Thing, Thunder Blast, generates 8 rage, was 10, so 2 rage or less. So, the PvP changes for that Knight, Unholy. So, that call is getting a 50% damage reduction in PvP, Whirlwind Plague is getting 15%, Frost Fever 15% and Blood Plague, so all three diseases nerfed by 15% in PvP. This is huge, <laughs> Unholy is demolished, we are gonna so fall down, like we're gonna be somewhere here. <laughs> um, I mean, we are already not in the top classes, but they are still nerfing us. Now, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you my opinion about all of this, but let's continue for now. So Demon Hunter Havoc is absolutely getting some law for damage, increase in PvP combat, emulation hour increased by 13.6, percent in pvp combat feral ferocious wound the pvp talent now decreases maximum health by three percent per stack plus five percent two percent nerf per stack pretty pretty okay nerf restoration tranquility healing increased by 30 percent in pvp combat nice they're getting some love and mana regeneration reduced by 40 percent in pvp was 50 some percent buff nice as well restoration druid is one of the worst healers right now above 2.1k so nice for the resto druids now hunters survival of the fittest now provides 25 percent damage reduction in pv combat was 30 percent five percent nerf honestly nothing special survival tactics pvp talent now has a two percent second duration was three seconds and hero talents dark rangers most screen applies survival of the fittest at 50 percent eff effectiveness in pvp combat okay so they're nerfing hunters survivability a bit and uh, they were crazily tanky kind of and sentinel don't look back effectiveness reduced by 50% in PvP combat. Now, they are nerfing Hunter's survivability, but honestly, I would be more happy if they would nerf the damage, especially marksmanship, because they are absolutely destroying. I think they are doing huge damage, especially against clothed people, they're getting destroyed. Mage, Frigid Winds is now 50% effective in PvP combat. Arcane, Arcane Missiles damage increased by 35% in PvP combat was 20, so 15% damage increase. And Arcane Orb damage increased by 40% in PvP combat was 30%. Now, Fire is getting some huge love. Power Blast damage increased by 20%. Fireball damage increased by 150% in PvP combat was 100, so 50% damage increase. Scorch was 300% increased in PvP combat. Scorch damage increased by 300% in PvP combat was 200%. Ignite damage increased by 15% in PvP combat. Word in Flames PvP talent now increases Flame Strike damage by up to 50% was 100, so these PvP talents are getting nerfed because glass can decreases health by 30% now not 15 and increases the damage done by scorch fireball and ignite by 20% not 30% so glass cannon i don't know if it's gonna be worth anymore to take it shaman healing stream totem healing increased by 15% in pvp combat shaman healing stream totem healing increased by 15% in pvp combat that's nice because Resto Shamans are one of the weaker healers right now as well. Elemental Lightning Bolt damage increased by 15%, Chain Lightning damage increased 15%, and Tempest damage increased by 15% in PvP. And Restoration is getting Healing Wing healing increased by 10% and Healing Surge by 10%. So Resto Shaman is getting actually some nice buffs. Now Warlocks, overall, the Demon Skin's armor bonus 
is no longer reduced by 50% in PvP combat. So Warlock's gonna have more armor, they're gonna be more tanky. The wow, okay. So Hunters, <laughs> you will not really one-shot Warlock's anymore, probably. This is gonna have a huge effect. Demonic Resilience and reduces the damage taken by a primary pet by an additional 67% in PvP combat. Damn, now that's huge because pets probably will not die anymore so fast. I wish they would do this for Unholy DK as well. Both Affliction and Destro and Demo pets. So that's huge. 67% damage reduction. Affliction. Malevolent Visionary damage reduced by 30% in PvP combat. Ooh. Shadow Bolt will be damage reduced by 25% in PvP combat. Soul Harvester Wicked. Reaping damage reduced by 20%. Soul Anathema damage reduced by 20%. And Demon Nick Soul damage reduced by 20% in PvP combat. Holy. They are destroying Affliction. I mean, they are destroying the solo shuffle ladder right now above 2.1k and marksmen's but that's huge i don't think they will become totally useless but they will definitely feel this and that they will get somewhere close to this area on the charts so the monology demon ball damage increased by 40 percent in pvp combat huge demo De wow i mean this part and this part demo and these buffs, I think the Monology is gonna be one of the top classes now, definitely. And Warrior Defense Stance now reduces damage by 15% for stun. Execute damage increased by 15% in PvP combat. Mortar Strike damage increased by 55 in PvP combat was 35. Master and Commander reduce the cooldown of Reliant Cry by 120 seconds was 90 seconds and increases its effect by an additional 10% was 15. So they reduce the cool down more but the effect as well by 5% and protection execute damage increased by 15% in pvp combat. Now let's talk quickly about all the exchanges how I think they will affect the meta. First of all unholy as I said demolished so disease builds poor. I think death knight's gonna be falling down from the tree being in the top five. I mean they already did but they are not even in the top five, but this is gonna have a huge effect. Uh, what I think the biggest change here is gonna be, as I said, Warlocks demo. They're gonna feel all of this and they will definitely get much stronger, especially because their pets gonna be as well tanky and they're gonna deal more damage. So great change. Uh, Affliction definitely gonna fall off. Fire mages, they will probably become more viable now. With these buffs, I think it's gonna be noticeable. And hunters, their survivability getting nerfed a bit, probably if they're gonna be all the time the kill target, it's probably gonna have a huge effect. And god, shadow priests, they 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 are already up here and they're gonna <laughs> they are getting even more buff overall. So I think Shadow Priest is gonna be one of top three classes. Marksman is still gonna stay up high and Feral Druids as well. From the healer side, Disc is still holding the first place. And yeah, the rest Red Paladins may start climb a bit. These changes are pretty good as well. So and holy paladin as well. This this is not bad. Oh right, and and the frost firebolt, god damn it. This this is definitely gonna be noticeable in PvP, so mage is gonna destroy with frost firebolt. And yeah, that's it. Guys, DK has been pretty much destroyed. Unholy. So oh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see how this is gonna turn out in PvP further on down the line but honestly regarding the unholy dk changes crazily not satisfied because if they are already nerfing our diseases so much i think they should compensate with some scourge strike buff clawing shadows buff and they even nerf death coil i don't know why the hell they nerfing death coil i assume they're nerfing it because if you pop uh, festering wounds and the death coil it can pretty really hard like make a big spike damage but still I mean crazy nerfs we'll see how it's gonna turn out maybe we get some 
buffs in the next class tuning but right now we are in big big crap <laughs> you can say anyway thanks for watching and see you guys see you guys in the next video have a wonderful weekend beneath the ice and snow a legend awakens i am arthas the lich king ruler of the damned master of frostmoor